So in this video, we're going to learn how to set up a function and model it with different variables and look at how each variable impacts the function we're analyzing. You're also going to learn how to label points and assign color in Desmos. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is enter a function. We're going to enter f of x for a generic function on an exponential uh, function. So we'll do a times b to the power of, use parentheses, x plus c and then plus d. So I'm choosing the letters here because I like using the alphabetical order. It goes a, b, c, and d. And notice that it's asking me to add sliders. I want to add that for all of them. And sliders are literally things we can slide back and forth to adjust the value of each variable. Look at the default. The default value for each of these variables is 1. We're going to mess around with that a little bit. For a, right, I'm going to ask you to restrict it. Uh, it's already from negative 10 to positive 10. That's OK. Click on that, and let's go by halves. We don't need to be, uh, we don't need to have more detail than that. For b, though, we're going to avoid negative values. And I'll ask you to think about that. Um, but we're going to stick from 1 to 10. And we'll do a step value again of 0.5, keep it simple. And for C, again, I'll stick at an interval of 0.5. I don't need to mess with negative 10 through positive 10, that's fine. And for D, I'm going to go uh, from negative 10 to positive 10, and I'll go for an interval of 0.5. Now, I also want to model uh, this using a parent function, so a function to base our changes on. So I'm actually going to delete the f and put a g. This will be g of x. It's our red function. It'll be the function that's changing. I'm going to add an expression and bring it to the top. The parent function is here, a function I can base everything on. So I'm going to do 2 to the x. I'm going to treat that as my standard. And then c, how does g of x connect to f of x? So for f of x, um, you can see the value of b is 2. So let's just match that real quick. And so I'm, as I change the sliders, g is changing. And there is no a value listed, so it's just 1. We'll leave that. There's no c value listed, so I'll put that at 0. And there's no d value listed, so I'll put that at 0. So now the functions match. You can see they're overlapping. And what we can do next is to add some points. I want the original points of f of x to be listed. Which points am I going to use? I'll just go from uh, negative 2 to positive 2. So type parentheses negative 2 comma f of negative 2. So I don't need to label that. I'm just going to leave that. And then I'm going to go negative 1 comma f of negative 1. So that'll plot the input and output for that function at negative 1. And then I go 0 f of 0 and then uh, 1 f of 1. You see the points popping up in the graph and then 2 f of 2. Okay, so now I've got those points set up. And I want to do the same thing for g, because g will be different. So I go, uh, here it's the same, but it can be different. Negative 2, g of negative 2. Uh, negative 1, g of negative 1. And you don't have to type the second parenthesis. It'll do it for you. 0, g of 0. And 1, comma, g of 1. I just stop typing there, hit enter. And then 2, g of 2. Now for G, I want to label those points to see where they're moving because I can always reference them in comparison to F. But I'm going to click this little button right here so I can change the colors. I notice that the G function is red. So I'm going to make all the G points red. And I just click on the colors here to adjust it. Red, 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 and red. And for F, I notice the function is blue. So I'm going to click on all of the blue function, the, the points here make them blue. Blue, blue, and blue, and then I click done. Now, here uh, we have A, B, C, and D. How do these variables impact G? Well, I'd play with the slider, right? Move it around and see what happens. Here's C. That, that one's a little harder to see what's going on right there. Right, not so easy to see. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, uh, B, right, we see some changes. So look at the changes and try to describe them in your own words as to what's happening, right? What's going on here as I change B? 
and then A, let's do the same thing, right? Look at that right there. All right, so this is, you're just setting this up, taking a look at it, and then answering some questions. So set this up and answer the questions that are in the activity. Thanks.